about to vote. I'm okay with that. You're fine with that? Yeah. Then we're back to square one. Is the U.S. a Christian nation? No. Yes. Okay. Now that'll okay. be a good one, and you'll see why in a minute. All right. Start talking about it. Okay. 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 Uh, you want to do five minutes? Sure. All right. Krishna. Uh, uh, am I holding you guys up? That's no, no, no. This is great. Uh, is the U.S. a Christian nation? You want to say absolutely no, absolutely yes? I'm going to say like about here. Pretty, uh, pretty much. So yeah. absolutely no? Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, about there. More yeah. like here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rock me through it. All right. So I think the U.S. is a Christian nation just by definition. The majority of people in this country are Christian. Therefore, by definition, it's a Christian nation. Now, that does not mean that uh, Christianity should be supported above all other religions. However, I do believe in the Judeo-Christian uh, ethic and morals and mores, and I think that should not change. So, although I think I would call the U.S. a Christian nation, I would say I believe in Christian principles. Um, I believe it should continue to be a Christian nation as far as mores and ideals, but still welcome, obviously, other religions. Can I try to paraphrase this? Yes. You have a bunch of morals that line up with the Christian morale system. I'm going to say Judeo-Christian. judeo, -Christian. judeo yes. yes. Good point, good point. Yes. Judeo-Christian perspectives. Yes. And you want America to maintain these morales that, in my opinion, don't necessarily need to have the Judeo, like the, the ideas of not murdering, not killing, being kind to your neighbor. You don't have to have the Judeo belief system to have those morals. I agree with you. A person but you need to have those morals to, you want those morals to exist in the U.S. So yes. it's just a consequence that U.S. has the same morals that line up with the Christian Correct. morals. Correct. But, it, but, I, but don't, I don't think it's a consequence. I don't. I, see, I see these two parallels. I definitely see these okay. two parallels. But I wouldn't say, and therefore it's that, because Muslims have the same idea. Of well, like I don't agree. Hindus have the same ideas. Pastafarians have the same ideas. Uh, not quite. That's I, fair. That's fair. That's I fair. Think I agree. But there's there's a Christian, there's a Baptist church right across the street. Probably have, probably have a moral that you don't like, right? And I'm just saying, like, there are a lot of different varieties of Christianity, a lot of different varieties of Hinduism. I just say U.S. is a moral nation, right. and we have morals that line up with certain faiths for sure. But I don't think it makes U.S. a sponsor of that religion. Not sponsor, like I say, it should not sponsor any religion. Okay. But I do believe that Christianity and Judaism are the two, are two primary religions that have given birth to a lot of the values you just espoused. What is the main, what is the most important moral in, in Judeo-Christian that you're referring to? That's a tough one, but yeah. I would say the golden rule. The golden do, rule? The golden rule, as you say, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Do, do you have to be a Christian to believe that moral? Do I think Christians believe that moral? I, oh, I, no doubt. I'm wondering, do you have to be Christian to have that no, moral? No, no. And, and I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. And I agree with you. Okay. You do not have to be a Christian or Jewish to have the Judeo-Christian morality. I totally agree with you. Okay. However... I think without that Judeo-Christian code or ethic being an underpinning of this country, you wouldn't have anything to have those morals stand on, and they would not become self-evident. Oh. I think what makes them become self-evident is the Judeo-Christian culture. A narrative that's put on top of yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I'm, in other I'm, words, I'm a belief system that. has to hinge on something. It can't just be, you can say, I believe this, but there's always an underpinning. There's always a reason why you believe it. I believe Judaism and Christianity provide the best underpinning for a person to hang their beliefs, that kind of belief system on. I think I get it now that you just said this. You're saying like, if you have these morales, and a belief system, they go hand in hand with each other to support one another. Yes. But you don't have to have the belief system to have those morals. Correct. Correct. And I'm saying because you don't need to have the belief system to have those morals, it doesn't need it doesn't make US a Christian nation. It just makes US a nation that has similar morals to Christians. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but I would say <laughs> I would say, but here's the last thing I'll say. Go for it, go for By it. Definition, By definition, demographics. The majority of Americans do profess to be Christian. If that changed and the majority of Americans didn't say they were Christian, would 
you change your passion on this um, say the Probably not, but it would concern me. It will concern me when we cut, if we ever get to the point where people do not say that. So whether we said we, a majority said they were Christian or a majority didn't say they were Christian, you would still feel the same way? I would still feel, I would still feel the same way, but I would be concerned that a majority are now saying they don't, uh, they don't feel Christian. Because I think that means a loss of religion. Sure, sure, and, sure. And that concerns me. I think religion is important. Um, something to think about then. If, and by the way, I'm Jewish. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> the the majority, if if the majority of Christ, people be in America calling themselves Christians today is what's motivating you, motivating you to believe this. Yet, if the majority picks something else, and you'd still feel like this is the 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 main reason if why you believe that's a Christian nation. If they pick something else, I don't know if it will continue to be a Christian nation. Ah, and it might be something the else. The values you and I have talked about that we basically seem to agree on. It's just where they're coming from. Yeah. If I think if we get to the point where a majority of Americans don't profess to be Christian, the values you and I have talked about will no longer be there. Why not? Because, because I, you don't need to be a Christian to have the values. I think it helps. It does <laughs> help, but you don't need one to have the other. You don't need it, but I think you would, you would see it fall apart. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's interesting. Yeah. I'd love to see why you believe that maybe later on if you okay. will be here for the next couple of days yeah we'll come back if you want to have talk. another five minute chat with me i'd love right. to have that cool what was your name jay 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 i'm ty ty nice meeting you really nice good meeting talking you. With you. good talking okay. with you too you take care you too yeah come back yeah.